Hi friends, I'm so excited that you joined me for story time today. We're gonna sing some songs and read two books. The first book is Tacky the Penguin, and our second book is And Tango Makes Three. All right, let's start with a hello song. Can you clap on one side and then clap on the other? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay. All right, let's shake our sillies out. We're gonna shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap, clap our crazies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna stretch, stretch, Stretch our stretchies out, stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out, stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out and wiggle our waggles away. Let's jump. We're gonna jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, jump, jump, jump our jiggles out, jump, jump, jump our jiggles out and wiggle our waggles away. Good job, everybody. All right, since our books are about penguins today, I have a friend who's gonna come help us with a new song. I'm a little penguin, look at me, all black and white, cute as can be. I know how to sled just like a pro, on my tummy and down I go. I'm a little penguin in the snow, it sure gets cold when the chilly wind blows. I'll never learn to fly, but I can swim, slide to the water, and dive right in. All right, penguin friends gonna go back over here, and we're gonna do another penguin song. This time you can march with me. The penguins go marching in the snow, hoorah, hoorah. The penguins go marching in the snow, hoorah, hoorah. The penguins go marching in the snow, the little one stops to dive right in, so they all go sliding down to the water to swim around. Should we do it one more time? The penguins go marching in the snow, hoorah, hoorah. The penguins go marching in the snow, hoorah, hoorah. The penguins go marching in the snow, the little one stops to dive right in, so they all go sliding down to the water to swim around. Yay, all right, we're gonna read our first book now. Tacky the Penguin by Helen Lester. There once lived a penguin. His home was a nice icy land he shared with his companions. His companions were named Goodly, Lovely, Angel, Neatly, and Perfect. His name was Tacky. Tacky was an odd bird. Every day, goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect greeted each other quietly and politely. Tacky greeted them with a hearty slap on the back and a loud, what's happening? Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect always marched one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Tacky always marched one, two, three, Four, two, three, six, zero, two and a half, zero. His companions were graceful divers. Tacky liked to do splashy cannonballs. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect always sang pretty songs like Sunrise on the Iceberg. Tacky always sang songs like how many fish, how many toes does a fish have? Tacky was an odd bird. One day, the penguins heard the thump, thump, thump of feet in the distance. This could mean only one thing, hunters had come. They came with maps and traps and rocks and locks, and they were rough and tough. 
and the thump, thump, thump drew closer. The penguins could hear the growly voices chanting. We're gonna catch some pretty penguins and we'll march them with a switch and we'll sell them for a dollar and get rich, rich, rich. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect ran away in fright. They hid behind a block of ice. Tacky stood alone. The hunters marched right up to him, chanting, We're gonna catch some pretty penguins, and we'll march them with a switch, and we'll sell them for a dollar and get rich, rich, rich. What's happening? blared Tacky, giving one hunter an especially hearty slap on the back. They growled, We're hunting for penguins, that's what's happening. Penguins, said Tacky. Do you mean those birds that march neatly in a row? And he marched. One, two, three, four, two, three, six, zero, two and a half, zero. The hunters looked puzzled. Do you mean those birds that dive so gracefully? Tacky asked, and he did a splashy cannonball. The hunters looked wet. Do you mean those birds that sing such pretty songs? Tacky began to sing, and from behind the block of ice came the voices of his companions, all singing as loudly and dreadfully as they could. How many toes does a fish have? And how many wings on a cow? I wonder, yep, I wonder. The hunters could not stand the horrible singing. They could not be in the land of pretty penguins. They ran away with their hands clasped tightly over their ears, leaving behind their maps and traps and rocks and locks and not looking at all rough and tough. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect hugged Tacky. Tacky was an odd bird, but a very nice bird to have around. The end. All right, guys, will you help me count some penguins now? Five little penguins waddling around. The snow was slippery, so one slid down to the water to play, leaving four little penguins waddling today. One, two, three, four. Four little penguins waddling around. The snow was slippery, so one slid down to the water to play, leaving three little penguins waddling today. One, two, three. Three little penguins waddling around. The snow was slippery, so one slid down to the water to play, leaving two little penguins waddling today. One, two. Two little penguins waddling around. The snow was slippery, so one slid down to the water to play, leaving one little penguin waddling today. Just one. One little penguin waddling around. The snow was slippery, so they slid down to the water to play, leaving no little penguins watering, waddling today. Yay, all right. Now, we're going to read our next book, and Tango Makes Three. By Justin Richardson and Peter Pernell. In the middle of New York City, there is a great big park called Central Park. Children love to play there. It has a toy boat pond where they can sail their boats. It has a carousel to ride on in the summer and an ice rink to skate on in the winter. Best of all, it has its very own zoo. Every day, families of all kinds go to visit the animals that live there. But children and their parents aren't the only families at the zoo. The animals make families of their own. There are red pandas, bear families, with mothers and fathers and furry red panda bear cubs. There are monkey dads and monkey moms raising noisy monkey babies. There are toad families and toucan families and cotton top tamarind families too. And in the penguin house, there are penguin families. 
Every year at the very same time, the girl penguins start noticing the boy penguins, and the boy penguins start noticing the girls. When the right girl and the right boy find each other, they become a couple. Two penguins in the penguin house were a little bit different. One was named Roy and the other was named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys, but they did everything together. They bowed to each other and walked together. They sang to each other and swam together. Wherever Roy went, Silo went too. They didn't spend much time with the girl penguins, and the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Silo wound their necks around each other. Their keeper, Mr. Gamzai, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, they must be in love. Roy and Silo watched how the other penguins made a home, so they built a nest of stones for themselves. Every night, Roy and Silo slept there together, just like the other penguin couples. And every morning, Roy and Silo woke up together. But one day, Roy and Silo saw that the other couples could do something they could not. The mama penguin would lay an egg. She and the papa penguin would take turns keeping the egg warm until finally it would hatch. And then there would be a baby penguin. Roy and Silo had no egg to sit on and keep warm. They had no baby chick to feed and cuddle and love. Their nest was nice, but it was a little empty. One day, Roy found something that looked like what the other penguins were, ha penguins were hatching, and he brought it to their nest. It was only a rock, but Silo carefully sat on it and sat and sat. When Silo got sleepy, he slept, and when Silo was done sleeping and sitting, he swam, and Roy sat. Day after day, Silo and Roy sat on the rock, but nothing happened. Then Mr. Gamzai got an idea. He found an egg that needed to be cared for, and he brought it to Roy and Silo's nest. Roy and Silo knew just what to do. They moved the egg to the center of their nest. Every day they turned it so each side stayed warm. Stayed warm. Some days Roy sat while Silo went for food. Other days it was Silo's turn to take care of their egg. They sat in the morning and they sat at night. They sat through lunchtime and swim time and supper. They sat at the beginning of the month and they sat at the end of the month and they sat all the days in between. Until one day they heard a sound coming from inside their egg. Peep, 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 it said. Roy and Silo called back, squawk, squawk. Peep, peep, answered the egg. Suddenly, a tiny hole appeared in the egg shell, and then, crack, out came their very own baby. She had fuzzy white feathers and a funny black beak. Now Roy and Silo were fathers. We'll call her Tango, Mr. Games, I decided, because it takes two to make a tango. Roy and Silo taught Tango how to sing for them when she was hungry. They fed her food from their beaks. They snuggled her in their nest at night. Tango was the very first penguin in the zoo to have two daddies. Soon, Tango grew strong enough to leave the nest. Roy and Silo took her for a swim, just like all the other penguin families, and all the children who came to the zoo could see Tango and her two fathers playing in the penguin house with the other penguins. Hooray, Roy! Hooray, Silo! Welcome, Tango! They cheered. At night, the three penguins returned to their nest. There, they snuggled together, and like all the other penguins in the penguin house, and all the other animals in the zoo, and all the families in the big city around them, they went to sleep. And that's the end. Okay, guys, do you guys want to help me find Little Mouse now? We'll start here. What color is this? Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you in the greenhouse? Nope, nobody in the greenhouse. Knock, 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 knock. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the purple house? It's not little mouse, but it is a penguin. Knock, 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 knock. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the 
orange house. <gasps> Nobody's in the orange house. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the brown house? <gasps> it's not little mouse. It's tacky. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the red house? <gasps> it's not little mouse, but I think it's his cheese, so we might be getting close. Little mouse, oh, knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in the blue house? <gasps> There's little mouse. Thank you guys for helping me find him. All right, everyone, we're gonna sing a goodbye song now. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye, give a smile, wink an eye. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. Do it one more time and sing along. It's time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye, give a smile, wink an eye. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. Bye friends.